Good morning, honeybees. We are going to begin by practicing our letter names, and today the alphabet song we're going to sing is Bob the Builder. Yeah. Are you ready? Now you're very good at this one, so Miss Bunny will mime it. But I would like you to have a go at doing it all by yourselves. Ready? One, two, three. to go through our graphemes okay so Miss Bunny's going to show you a grapheme and your job is to tell me the phoneme the sound that it makes eyes this way good job oh let's not add the schwa on the end we're not saying p we're saying p. your turn good job Our common exception words now. Remember, these have some tricky parts and some phonic clues. Into the eye. To have a go at blending and reading some words from our graphemes that we've already learnt in our classroom. Are you ready? Let's sound it out first. Well done. The word is. Good job. Let's try another one. Oh, let's check this one. We're not adding a schwa on the end, it's very quiet. The word is? Done. Let's do some oral blending now. Miss Bunny has got some words in her head and I would like you to work out what words Miss Bunny has got in her head. Are you ready? You're going to have to really listen. As soon as you know, you can call it out. B -o -t. B-O-T. Well done! Should we try another one? Yeah. Hey, listen really, really carefully. B a l -oon. <gasps> One more to do some new learning now. So eyes on the board. Are you ready to see? We've got a new graphing to learn and a new phoneme too. Today we are going to learn. Some of you might know this already. We are learning b. Can you do that? B My turn. B b b. Well done. Now we can pretend that we are bouncing a ball. B b b. Good job. Can you show your learning partner what's our new phoneme? Brilliant. It's B. And we're going to have a go now. Start at the top, honeybees. And I'm going to go down, back up, and around. I'm going to show you one more time. Eyes on my pen. Ready? I'm going to go down, back up, and around. Do you think you could control my pen now? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to control my pen. Ready? Down, up, and around. That's it. And all the way around. We have to go back up before we go around. Can you have a go on your boards, finding a line starting at the top? We're going to go down, back up, and around to form our graphing that represents the phoneme B. Well done. Brilliant job. So, and we have to make sure that we're not taking our pen off at all. We're going down, back up, and around. Can you go for Miss Bunnies and then keep going yourself? Now, we are going to have a go at blending and reading some words, and these words do have b in them so you're going to have to really watch carefully are you ready having a look at the board this word can you tell your partner is the b grapheme at the beginning the middle or the end of this word it is isn't it it's right here at the start we're going to have a go blending the word and then uh, sounding out the word and then reading it together are you ready the word is good job well done let's sound out the next one. Oh. Honeybees is the B grapheme at the beginning, the middle or the end. Have a look. Oh, I was trying to trick you. Let's have a go at sounding it out. The word is... Well done. I didn't trick you, did I? We're going to have a go at writing some words now. So we are going to segment the words, listen to all of those phonemes and write the corresponding graphemes. The first word we're going to write, what do you think this might be? 
it's, it is a burger, we're going to write bun because we're, those are the sounds that we have already learnt. So let's stretch out bun, ready? Hands in the air. B, A, N. Phoneme fingers. How many phonemes are in this word? Three. So you need to write down the corresponding graphing for three phonemes today. That's it. I wonder who is forming those B's correctly. Good job. B. Keep going, that's it. Well done. Just three seconds left. Everybody showing me. Have a look at the ones at the back. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Should we have a look and see if we can tick or fix? Honeybees, can you tick or fix your spelling of bun? We have done lots of practicing now, haven't we? We can recognise what b looks like. So now what we're going to do is have a go at reading a caption that has b in it. So we're going to have to see if we can spot the grapheme b. So, Miss Bunny is going to move along with her pointing finger and as soon as you spot the grapheme b, you need to tell me and you need to say b. Are you ready? Let's see if it's in this caption somewhere. Hmm. Oh, remember that. Oh, remember that one. Oh, is this b? Ah, well done. That's d. Are there any common exception words in this caption that we have learned already? <gasps> when you spot a common exception word, I need you to read it aloud to me. Ready? Well done. This is our common exception word, no. I wonder if there are any other common exception words. Can you see? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Mm. I can see why that might have been a little bit confusing. Are there any other common exception words? If there are, you can read them to me. Well done. And let me see. We're going to have a go at reading this caption now. We're going to work together, honeybees, and I will add the sound buttons to support you with any words that we might need to sound out. Are you ready? Eyes on the board. Three, two, one. Let's read that again a bit more fluently. And read it to your learning partner. And read it to yourself. Well done. Can you remember which phoneme does this grapheme represent? Good job. And remember, it's not b, but it's b. Well done. It's nice and quick. B. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. You can rub off your boards and put them down on the floor in front of you. Well done.